Dear friends, the star delta circuit it is a very simple one, and yet there are a lot of electricians which are getting confused when wiring or troubleshooting a star delta circuit. Look into this image, you will easily identify that on the left hand side we have the system running on star mode and in the right hand side the system runs on delta mode. Now you can see we have a star delta circuit which is connected to a control box. The control box have the main switch in the right hand side at the top. Also, the control box have a starting button which is colored with green and a stop button which is colored with red. By turning on the main switch on the right hand side on the top of the control box, you will be able to see that the electricity is advancing to the contactor intake side so the electricity is not passing by through the contactor to reach the motor. So this star delta it is used in the industry so we can gain leverage. We uh, use more signal to control heavy electrical loads. So you'll only have to activate contactor solenoid. An electromagnetic field will be created and uh, the switch will close a bigger power circuit. So this is how the star delta look into the real world. You see three contactors wired and now I'll show you in details how this is working. When a star delta circuit will be enabled, you'll observe that there's a time delay which counts. You will see this pulsing green LED. So that counts for a short period of time. And when the count time it is over, then the timer will switch from star to delta and you will see the contactor number 3 is going off and contactor number 2 is coming on. When starting the system on star we use only one third of the power. So when the motor runs on delta it is more powerful than when it's running on star. However, it is very recommended if you're not using a variable speed driver or soft starter to use a star delta starting circuit. To wire a star delta circuit it is not very hard but to troubleshoot a star delta circuit some technician are getting in trouble. You have to understand the star delta circuit and if you look into this drawing what you will see. You will see how the power goes from the first contactor and then it will uh, be short circuit by the third contactor. So that will join the terminals of the resistances of the motor windings W2, U2 and V2. They will be in a short circuit. If you look on the right hand side down you will see a triangle. See all of them are joining to one point. Now if you will Use a multimeter and you try to measure the voltage potential difference in between each phase and the point where the three uh, resistances are short circuited. You have 240 volts while if you measure the voltage in between the phases you will have 400 volts. So you have to pay attention to these drawings. As you will see before in between the first contactor and the motor you have a potential uh, voltage in between these wires 400 volts but after the motor you have zero volts because the contactor it's short circuiting the compressor the i'm sorry the motor winding and that create a neutral point Pay attention to this drawing because later on you will see what happened if in between the motor and the third contactor you have a broken circuit. The voltage potential will increase and this is the only way you can find and troubleshoot a star delta circuit. 
When circuit will be changed from start to delta, then the compressor, the I will, I'm sorry, I always say compressor because I'm a refrigeration um, and uh, HVAC engineer. So coming back to my story. On delta, the motor, it is on a full load. As you will see here, you will receive 400 volts for each resistor. Is not You will not receive only half of the voltage, you receive the entire voltage. That will increase its capacity. And in this case, the contactor number two will be will close the circuit while the contactor number three will have its circuit open. Can you imagine if the contactor number three will close the circuit, you will have an explosion because you will have a massive short circuit. You will short circuit the phases which passes by through the contactor number two. And I will show you this later on. With many occasions I repeat myself because I want you to really understand about the star, about the delta, about the oil. I know some of you will say, ah, this is an old technology, we're going to use variable speed driver or soft starters. Okay, guys, if you do this, hands up. But if you'll come across an old circuit which uh, runs on star delta, at least you will know how to deal with it. This system is star. Watch this drawing, stop the video, do some analysis. This is the way the star um, motor it is wired. Can't you see? We short circuited one side where the three winding of the compressor, the I'm sorry, the motor will meet to one point. So this is the star. In when in the star mode, the motor will run only on a third of its capacity. When you switch to delta, things are changing. Can't you see? The each. Uh, winding will receive 415 volts so you'll have two phases that will supply power for each winding that makes the triangle we all know that we increase the voltage we increase the power simple as such so uh, when you run the system on delta you have a lot of power but there's a problem if you will start on direct overload mode you will put a lot of strain on the wires, but can you imagine if you have a belt driven pump or fan? When the motor start, it start very violent if you go on direct overload starting mode and you will break the belts, you can destroy the pump and obviously you will put a lot of stress onto the electrical wire. Now let's see what happened inside the compressor. Can't you see? The contactor number one, it is enabled, and the contactor number three, short circuit the other side of motor windings. The potential difference of the wires in between the motor and the contactor number three is zero. But to be zero, the circuit have to be in a perfect health. And in this case, our motor run on the star mode. Now you have to pay attention to this. If you have unbalanced phases or the contactor number three have a rupture, sometime inside the contact blades can be broken. Not all of them, one, sometime two. With some occasion, if you have uh, one broken, the other two will increase uh, their amps because you try to compensate and it will uh, pop up the circuit breaker if you're lucky, if not, you could burn the motor. But what is the most important thing here? You have to understand, if you have uh, two phases or three phases uh, disconnected from the contactor number three, then you'll have 400 volts if you'll measure in between the wires that are in between the motor and the contactor number three. So just be careful and pay attention to this. If you have only one phase uh, faulty, you will still have a uh, potential of uh, 415 volts between the broken phase and the other two. But that's not really likely to happen for a long time because 
a motor in two phases other way will burn or the circuit breaker will trip or even the overload will trip for a good design system the overload should trip but if the overload is not fast enough the circuit breaker will protect the motor for a bad system if you use uh, bigger cables or a uh, bigger protective devices you will burn the motor or you can burn the electrical power supply yes you're right we have an open circuit this is a motor that it's wired in star and uh, the terminals of these motors are not uh, joined so the windings uh, are not joined in a point we have open circuit this motor will not run I did this for you so you will see better this star it is open can't you see in the middle of that star the windings are not touching each other you have open circuit that's why in this case the motor will not run if you have the contactor number 240 you really have to be careful because uh, the electricity the phases will change their sense somehow instead to send uh, to the motor uh, power from the contactor number two the power will go from the contactor number one through the motor and uh, will go towards contactor number two and three the other way around and you'll have an open circuit and the motor will not work but you'll have uh, life all over the place this is the time when you have to be really really careful because Probably most of the people has been injured in this situation. Just like in the star situation, an open circuit, it is an open circuit. So uh, this uh, delta wiring system, um, it is interrupted. So the motor will not run because uh, if you look at these yellow blades, they are broken. So uh, the motor will not run. However, just check the electricity before you will uh, play with this motor if you will work life it's not a good idea just to touch because the motor is not uh, turning do not assume do not presume so just measure if you have electricity check and then uh, touch so uh, this is the golden rule just watch this video careful and they some other videos on youtube quite smart people try to offer to our children and other technicians ideas how to be safe and how to wire circuits if you're not sure do not touch the electricity try to follow the logic of this uh, star delta if you don't like star delta and you have some money use the variable speed controller if you're smarter than that, you can use a building management control or a programmable logic control and um, you can go um, higher and higher with the technology until you'll get bored and you'll come back to basic switch. So thank you very much for watching my video and um, just uh, subscribe and uh, check my other videos. I have a lot of explanation and it's all free i don't want any money anything because uh, my uh, main uh, concern and priority it is not to uh, pay uh, bricks for the rest of my life it is to enjoy my life and every morning to see the sky and to find answer about who i am and what is my destiny on this earth thank you very much